A drone shot in the darkness taken above the statue shows history being taken apart. Its destruction was hidden from view, covered in tarpaulin and guarded by police. Only the legs of those dismantling the sculpture were visible. Within a matter of hours, it was like the pillar of shame had never existed. Its Danish creator is outraged. I'm really upset. They're not the right to uh, destroy it. Uh, so in the first time, I will, I will sue them to see if they have destroyed the artwork. It uh, belongs to me. So I was really shocked over the, over the brutality in the act. The copper obelisk was meant to be an enduring symbol of Hong Kong's pro-democracy movement. A monument of ghastly faces that memorialised the students and protesters killed in 1989. The Tiananmen Square massacre is an event largely erased from China's history. The removal of this statue is another sign of Beijing's crackdown on political dissent and civil liberties. Yeah. Jim Wong is a refugee in the UK who fled Hong Kong last year. The statue is a symbol of the democracy of Hong Kong and uh, now it's been taken down. Now we are not allowed to talk about the, the Tiananmen Square, and, uh, but there, there will be more similar things in the future and uh, we are not allowed to talk about. The sculpture was eventually loaded into a container and supposedly taken into storage. Every piece of it concealed every action to do it clandestine. Beijing's campaign to remake Hong Kong continues. Lucy Watson, News at 10.